Hello crafty friends, it's Call Me Crafty Owl here on the Scrapping for Less channel to share with you a new card that I have made. I hope you'll stick around, see how my subscribers had some input on this card and see what I'm going to make. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the Scrapping for Less channel, I hope that you'll click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. So over on my channel on Sunday, I shared a little unboxing of some new Scrapping for Less goodies that I got. And I asked my subscribers what paper and what stamp set they would like me to use first. Well, I'm here today to make a card using that input. If you want to see the unboxing and details about everything I got, I will link my video in the description box below. But let's go ahead and talk about what won. Now, I did have quite a few of you want me to use the neutrals with the Give a Hoot stamp set, but eking it out by just a few votes was Cozy Fall with Teresa Talks Fall. So today, we're going to make a card using these two. But don't worry, I will be back later in the month to share more inspiration with the goodies in front of me. Let's get crafty! For today's cards, I pre-selected three pieces from the Cozy Fall Paper Pack, and from the stamp set, I will be using the Girl Focal Point along with the Happy Pumpkin Spice Season Sentiment. Don't forget that if you want to download the printable, I will have the link in the description box below. The August 2020 sheet load of cards called for six pieces of six by six pattern paper, but I only wanted to end up with three cards today, so I just used the three pattern papers that I already chose. Once I had those pattern papers cut, I pulled in some scraps of kind of an off-white cardstock. It isn't quite ivory, but it's a little darker than white. And I just cut this down to be the mat for my tall skinny strip and the little sentiment piece of the cardstock. This worked. I got to use up some of those scraps that I'd been saving. Off camera, I cut and folded three card bases in that same off-white color. Next, I started to put some of the pieces together because I needed this small piece of pattern paper to be on the bottom of each of my sentiment blocks so I knew where to stamp my sentiment. So I went ahead and added adhesive to the back of those and then trimmed off the excess on each side. Once I had those in place, I went ahead and matted my tall skinny strip with the off-white cardstock skinny strips. Just a heads up that if you hear anything odd in the background, it's because I am voicing this over in my car outside my daughter's piano lessons. But I digress, back to the card making. Once I had the tall skinny strips matted, I then got out the largest piece of pattern paper and those got adhered to the front center of each card base. Once I had all that adhering done, I then matched up my cards with the pieces that would go on each one, and I placed my tall skinny strip to the left of the front of the card. Now I'm not going to glue down my sentiment strip yet because I'm going to be stamping on that here in just a second. For my stamping today, I did get out my Misty because I will be stamping on all three of those pieces of cardstock and I just want to set my stamp up one time. I'm going to place the cardstock all the way in the bottom right hand corner of my Misty. That way, if it pops up when I open up the door, it kind of pulls up with the stamp, I know that if I put it down right back in that corner, that I will stamp it where I want it. Each of these got stamped in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Once I had all of the sentiments stamped, it was time to get my focal image stamped. Off camera, I cut down some scraps of that off-white cardstock that would fit my girl holding her little steaming mug of pumpkin spice latte. And I set her up just in the middle of that because I will actually be fussy cutting her out later. So I just needed to make sure that she was on that cardstock. 
The first stamp looked great, so I just proceeded to stamp her two more times. Once again, this is in Memento Tuxedo Black because that's going to work with my coloring medium. Speaking of coloring, that's what I'm going to do now. I will be coloring with colored pencils today and blending it or smoothing it out with Gamsol. Now you will notice that that says that it is an alcohol marker, but I actually bought that empty and I put Gamsol or odorless mineral spirits in it. I do not like when you use those paper things that you always have to sharpen it with the sandpaper. So I found out if you put just a little bit of Gamsol in these, it blends it beautifully. Now, unfortunately, I think I did overfill mine, so it ends up getting the paper a little more wet than I like it. So you'll see here in a minute that I bring in my heat tool to kind of dry that out, and it also makes the color go back to more normal. What I do is I just use each color, here I'm starting with her skin tone, and I color it in, and then I smooth it out with that marker that I made. I proceed with this same process to finish coloring the rest of her. I do usually try to work from light to dark and then I blend out each color between. And you'll notice that I'm just wiping off the excess color there on the piece of cardstock. And here's a look at my three finished fussy cut girls. Because the rest of the card was pretty flat, I decided that I would be popping up my sentiment and my focal image. The first thing I needed to do was glue each of my ladies down to the sentiment block and I just put adhesive on the back of the center of the image just where it touched the sentiment piece. I set these aside for about five minutes to dry completely before moving on. Once those were dry, I brought in my big blue roll of foam tape. I placed a couple of those pieces on the back and then for the little legs, I got out some small Stampin' Dots and I cut those in half and put one on each foot. This then got adhered to the front of the card. I did the same thing for the final two cards and here's a close up look. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's cards. If you did, as always, we appreciate a thumbs up. Until the next video, we hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.